Hi everyone! My name is Emma and today I'm going to be guiding you through a step-by-step -step process on how to properly inspect an aerial silk setup. For those of you who don't know what this is, think Cirque du Soleil or just follow along and you'll find out. Owning a personal silk can be costly and a very time-consuming adventure, but caring for and maintaining your equipment can really help protect your investment, not to mention your safety. So with that in mind, it's really important to do this every three to four months, especially with regular use of your hardware. Now let's get started. First of all, it's really important to know the components and understand the proper use of the hardware of the silk setup. We're going to start with the sewn runner. This is an industrial strength piece of fabric made out of nylon that is sewn into a loop and used to carry the majority of the weight and to minimize the metal to metal contact between the carabiners and the either the metal beam or eyelet you are most likely hanging from. Right below this we have one of our two auto lock carabiners. These can be either auto lock or manual lock. Either way you want to make sure you have two properly locking carabiners. Attached to each end of this double looped rotor is going to be one of each of the auto lock or manual lock carabiners. And then attached to the top loop of the figure eight bullhorn will be the bottom part of the auto lock carabiner. And hanging from the very bottom loop of the figure eight bullhorn is going to be the actual silk material. Now understanding all of those components is really important, but also making sure that you're aware of your space is really important. So first of all, you want to make sure you have a lot of area. This is going to be a hard surface because carpet will just lead to complications and static cling to the silk. So making sure that you have a hard surface, you wanna also make sure that the floor is clean. You don't wanna perform the inspection on a floor that has a lot of debris or dirt or rocks because it'll just wear the silk even more and add stains. You also wanna make sure there's proper lighting in the room because this is gonna make it easier to see any holes or potential snags that begin wearing in the silk. And then you also wanna make sure you leave yourself ample time. You don't wanna try and squeeze this inspection into a short time period because it'll just make you feel rushed and you might miss something important. Unrigging the fabric is the first step of this process. So what you wanna do is you wanna take everything from the bottom auto lock carabiner to the sewn runner off before you try to take the silk off the bullhorn. This is going to make sure that the silk doesn't get caught up or snagged on any of the extra pieces of metal and it's really going to make the process of taking the silk off the bullhorn a lot easier. Once you have this done you can go ahead and spread your silk out across the floor making sure that nothing is overlapping. As you can see in this picture, the silk takes up a lot of space, so I wasn't joking when I said you really want to make sure you have a lot of room to use. With the silk spread out, you want to really make sure that none of it is overlapping and that nothing is sitting on top of the silk. You're going to want to take off any rings or necklaces and your shoes as well before you begin actually inspecting the silk. You're going to crawl carefully across the silk, looking closely at every little section and making sure there's not any big holes or wearing pieces of fabric. You also want to check for any stains. Once you've checked the silk thoroughly, you're going to want to make sure you note any of the fabric discrepancies because those could get bigger or worse with age and with use. And keeping your eye on that's really going to protect your silk and protect anyone who might be using it. Once you are done inspecting the silk, you're going to want to fold it in half and make sure all of the edges match up. Re-rigging your silk is the next step. So once you have it folded in half and matched up correctly, you're going to stand at the end with the seams, with the folded seam, and you're going to slowly bunch the silk together from the outside in. So in the first picture you can see I have already bunched the silks and have created a loop. What you're going to do is you're going to pull that loop through the bottom hoop of the figure eight bullhorn and then you're going to separate the two tails at the other side of the figure eight bullhorn and then you're going to pull that first loop between the two tails underneath the figure eight bullhorn and then you're going to pull that loop up and around the top part of the bullhorn. 
Once this is done, you can pull on the two tails that are coming off the bottom of the bullhorn to cinch this loop down and make the silk secure so that it won't come loose while it's being used. Once that's done, you can go ahead and either rig it up and use it, or you can put it away and save it for another day. But make sure that you do this every so often because that's really going to be the important part of making sure that your silk is maintained and it's going to stay safe for anyone that might be using it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you all get a chance to try this out.